This is the end result of part three of how to make Hearthstone in 2024. Um, we did a little bit of the break and the buildup and the drop as well. As always, links are in the description for the project file and the, and the sound bank uh, and stuff. So I did buy the vocal this time. Keep in mind, I can't include anything I downloaded from Vocalfy in the project file. Um, but if you buy the vocal yourself and then you copy the contents of the vocals and the stems, etc. in the zip file, then it should work fine. Just make sure you don't rename stuff. Just keep it as this, copy it in the zip file and then it should work fine. So yeah, keep that in mind. So yeah, let's listen to the end result of this part and um, have fun with the video. I can feel you slipping Cause you want something different I've gotta let you go and find yourself When you look from every angle The colors change around you Don't be afraid to go and find yourself What you running from, babe? What you running from now? Welcome to part 3 of how to make Hearthstone in 2024. Uh, as you can see the project looks a little bit different than last time. Uh, this is because uh, I bought the vocal and the stems along with it. And yeah, I basically imported everything and um, I did a little bit of mixing on the vocal already because I imported the dry vocal and not the wet vocal. But that's nothing special. It's just a little bit of EQ, a low cut. A little bit of delay and some uh, light reverb and some light compression. Um, so nothing special really. And in the vocal fill I added some distortion as well. Basically the same as last time with the vocal chops and stuff in here. So the vocal sounds like like this. Cause you want something different. I've gotta let you go and find yourself. So nothing special going on there and the rest is just imported, routed to all mixture tracks without any mixing, but uh, some stuff I just added some volume to it and I routed them to a bus or a couple of buses just in case. So all these instruments go to the original stems and the vocals go to the original vocal, which goes to the original track and the stems also go to the original track. So everything combines in here. As you can hear, no sound if I turn it off. Um, yeah, let's start uh, with the break. And uh, I think also how the how the melody will start and maybe even the build up. Let's see how far we uh, will go. For the break, I don't want to do anything too special because the break you get with the package is already very good in my opinion. I can just add and change some stuff and that will be fine. So yeah, let's let's just go ahead and start. Let's listen first to what it is now. I can feel you slipping Cause you want something different I've gotta let you go and find yourself When you look from every angle The colors change around you Don't be afraid to go What you running from, babe? What you running from now? You 
wanna live out of a suitcase if it's what you need now Okay, so in here I basically want the melody to start so we can skip all this. It's mainly about this part here and I really don't think we need to add a whole lot. I just heard that there's an overlapping vocal here because this one also has this vocal. So let's just cut that out just like that and the same goes here. Right? Maybe we can turn that up a little bit. Okay, so I basically want to make this a little bit more hard style fitting. So I'm going to get this kick right here. I'm going to get this kick and I'm going to place it on the beat. Maybe a little, just a, just a tiny build up here, nothing too special. Yeah, let's just um, remove this for now. Well, maybe let's keep the kick because we, we want the melody here. Um, so let's just clone this the same way. I think there's a difference, right? Yeah, there's a difference. I might replace the kick, we'll see. But let's just remove this vocal and place the melody. Yeah, let's just place it here. Now we're going to have a clash of bass, but I want to replace the bass anyway. So let's just do this for now. See what this sounds like. Yeah, it's a little too busy. So we can remove these snares. And I think we need to wait with these kicks until the second half of the melody. We can also remove these fills, but I don't like this snare. So I'm going to add this fill right here. And place it here. And then change the snare. For now, I'll just change it to this one. Just sound a little bit more pleasing, I think. Now we can remove these fills as we don't really need them, I think. Uh, let me see which is this one. Maybe we can just move this one a little bit to the left and keep that for the second half. looking at this hi-hat what it exactly is doing we can use that as well and this is basically the great thing about uh, sites like Vocalfy and stuff um, 
you can just get really uh, fast inspiration or you can get tracks done really fast. Of course, you can always make your break entirely from scratch and uh, it's always better to do that, of course. But if I will make everything from scratch, it will just take uh, a long time, too long for this tutorial. So I'll just edit the break they have here, which is a lot faster and it will still sound pretty good, I think. Yeah, so let's grab the coast punch from here and let's drop it in here. The reason is because I want to side chain these hats. Yeah, let's do that. I was just thinking maybe I can do that with kickstart as well, but let's just do it with the ghost punch. So let's side chain it to the dark green one, side chain to this track and use the fruity limiter. Doesn't have to be that extreme, of course. Just a little bit. Now you may have noticed that the melody will also sidechain. There's nothing wrong with that. I might just want it to be a little bit less. So let me just make this ghost punch unique uh, and remove the rest and uh, let's route it to a new mix track and let's call this uh, break <laughs> and let's sidechain that one instead Let's also send that to this melody bus, but just make it a little bit less aggressive. So let's rename this one as well. Pretty damn there. Break. Okay, cool. So I said I want to replace the bass as well, and that is because, uh, of course, it's sidechained to the original kick. So, like this. But since I won't be using that anymore, it's not really great to listen to. Well, I can keep it here. When you look from every day. But. In different parts of the track it won't make sense because the bass will just drop in volume randomly when it's not needed. Um, and it's just a simple bass, so I can replace that with my own. What does my bass sound like? Yeah, so I may even be able to use that bass with a low cut, I think. So let's try that now. Great bass. Let's just copy this for now just to test. Route it to a new mix track and let's add a low cut. Yeah, and let me see if we get the MIDI file as well. Uh, yeah, there's the bass. So that's pretty nice. 
we can just import the MIDI file from the base into here. And that should be pretty much the same. Now let's copy it. Make it glide a little. So the transitions will be a little better. I think we just can just copy it over. Okay, and now we can basically sidechain this bass to this kick. So let's add a fruity limiter again. Sounds good. When you look from every angle, the colors change around you. Don't be afraid to go and find yourself. What you're running from, babe, what you're running from now. And let's also do the same with the melody bass. Um, we can sidechain that to that kick as well. So we have the same effect. I want to make sure that it's exactly on the half beat that the bass comes back. So let's try it like this. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Uh, I do want to add some shakers here. Some good old shaker loop. Um, let's stretch it. Let's place it right here. Send that to the mix track. And let's also give that a light side chain, not too much. Let's also add a clap. 
this one for example and let's put it to the mix track let's clone it and claps and hardstyle are not too loud so so let's turn the volume down Got to remove the chord stack. So let's do that as well. Let's listen to what these effects do. Yeah, so these are basically crashes. Yeah, so we can keep the end part, I think, but basically remove everything else because we are going to add our own crashes. I think that sounds pretty good already. Uh, maybe some crashes here. So let's make this one unique. Send it to a new mixer track, as I did. Let's add a kickstart to that. This is a little build up again. So let's do some stuff with the crashes. I think the guitar can still be a little bit lower in volume. I boosted it at the, at the beginning because I thought it's a nice detail 
and kind of got lost in the mix, but it's a little too loud, I think. So this is this one is definitely a little bit too loud. Let me know if you think the the tremolo needs to be removed from this part. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, let's make up make, let's make a build up really quickly. And yeah, we can basically kind of copy what we already have here. Sorry, what we have here. Let's just try and see if that fits. Uh sure. And then cut everything from here. We can just remove this then. Let's remove these kicks. I'm sorry if I don't don't talk a lot. I'm just in the track making mode. Whoops! I just noticed I deleted the melody from the. That's 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 not uh, what I wanted. I forgot to make it unique. Oh, let's add the drop next to the buildup. Let's move this one out of the way.
doesn't blend together very well yet, but we will work on that. Now, one thing you can do at the buildups uh, is to make the signal or the master a little bit mono because then it all kind of moves into the center and uh, it will sound pretty mono. And then when the drop hits, it will sound really big all of a sudden because you're getting used to the smaller stereo image. So don't overdo it, of course, but it can be pretty nice effect. So I'll exaggerate it a little bit. So if I do all the way to mono and then all the way to stereo. So that's, of course, a little bit too much, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, I need to copy 50%. So just like that, and that'll probably work. Another thing is also you got to remove every single bass. So when a drop hits, you suddenly have a lot of bass compared to uh, before that. So for example, this bass. Um, but when you fade this one away, then this one will start coming back, of course. So we need to remove that one as well. Um, but I don't want to influence the vocal or anything. So let's just do it on the kicks and the bass itself. So from here, I think. Let's add a FAP filter. And let's automate this knob. So let's wiggle it a little bit and then click on this button, right click, create automation clip. It will be placed right here. And as you can hear, the bass comes back. So let's do it for the bass as well. Or we can just cut out the bass here because we won't hear any bass because of this sidechain. So yeah, let's just stop the bass right here. I just uh, I'm just gonna add some random stuff now. Um, it basically is just to put put things down, try it. If it sounds good, why not keep it? Uh, 
What you running for? Okay, let's add an impact here because this is a little bit empty uh, right now. I'm just doing some final touches. Um, I don't think there's really a lot to say about it. Yeah, I'm doing just a little bit of stuff I did before, like some extra side chaining um, because the kick of the side, the vocal doesn't side chain to this kick yet. Just a little bit of stuff like that. I added the impact. Uh, I tweaked some volumes, you know, just really minor, minor stuff. Not nothing big. And the nice thing is, we can also just add some of this stuff to the drop as well. So for example, the, uh, the guitar plug, the uh, effects, the drones as well. You know, just, and you can just add some stuff. A build a drum at the end of the drop, an appreciator. You know, why not? Because it's it will just uh, fill up the drop a little bit. It will be subtle, most people won't hear it, but it's there. Okay, so let's listen to the entire thing one more time and uh, I think we'll call it there. We did the break today, we did the build up today and added a little bit of stuff to the drop as well. So yeah, I think it's uh, starting to sound pretty good. So yeah. <laughs> 
Let's listen to the entire thing. I can feel you slipping Cause you want something different I've gotta let you go and find yourself When you look from every angle The colors change around you Don't be afraid to go and find yourself What you're running from, babe? What you're running from now? It's what you need now So yeah, that's what we have now. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, some transitions can go a little smoother, but we'll we'll look at that later. Um, as always, you can download the project in the description, uh, as well as the sound bank I'm using. Um, and uh, you can find tons of other stuff in there. Um, also the OPS samples, which we're using the kickoff. Yeah, just look in the description, uh, look on my gum road. Tons of stuff there to help you in your production. Yeah, I can't wait for this track to get finished. I think it's... Uh, it's gonna be a really nice one. Uh, I hope you learn stuff from me as well. That's the most important part, of course. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part four. <laughs>